Do you want to back up the EFS and persist partitions on your Motorola Moto X4? That's what we're going to do in this video. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey YouTube, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can back up the EFS and persist partitions on your Motorola Moto X4. Do note, you need to have an unlocked bootloader, you need to have the latest ADB and fastboot, and you need to have the TWRP recovery image file for the Motorola Moto X4. Links to all of these are in the description of the video. Once you've unlocked the bootloader, go ahead and place the ADB and fastboot and the TWRP recovery image file in the same folder. Once that is done, go ahead and extract the ADB and fastboot. Once you have extracted ADB and Fastboot, you will have a new folder called Platform-Tools. Next thing, we'll go ahead and rename the TWRP recovery image file. So we'll go ahead and rename it to TWRP-patent.img. Once you've renamed it, go ahead and place it in the Platform Tools folder. Now, if you go into the Platform Tools folder, you have your Fastboot, you have your ADB, and you also have your TWRP recovery image file in the same folder. At this point, you need to go ahead and Put your Motorola Moto X4 into fast boot mode. To do that, go ahead and turn your phone off. Once you've turned your phone off, press and hold the volume down button and at the same time press and hold the power button till you see the fast boot screen. Once you are in fast boot or bootloader mode, go ahead and connect your phone to the computer using the USB cable. Once you have connected your phone to the computer, Mac and Linux users need to open terminal. Windows users can go ahead and open command prompt. So if you go ahead and go inside the platform tools folder press down the shift key and then right click you will see a menu pop up wherein you can select open powershell here or open command prompt here go ahead and choose whatever you are comfortable with mac and linux users need to go ahead and navigate to this folder using terminal once we are in terminal command prompt or powershell the first command we're going to execute is to check whether our device is being detected in fast boot mode or not the command for that is fastboot devices. PowerShell and terminal users need to enter dot slash before the command. Command prompt users can go ahead and ignore the dot slash. Once you've entered the command, go ahead and press enter. And bam, there it is. You can see my device is being detected in fastboot mode. The next command we're going to execute is to check the name of the TWRP recovery image file. So terminal and PowerShell users will enter ls space hyphen l. And command prompt users can go ahead and enter dir space slash p. It will give you the name of the TWRP recovery image file. We're doing this because sometimes you do not have show file extensions enabled in Windows and then you go ahead and rename the TWRP recovery image file to TWRP-patent.img.img. The next command we're going to execute is to boot our Motorola Moto X4 into TWRP recovery. The command for that is fastboot boot and name of the image file. In our case, the name of the image file is TWRP-patent.img. If you're in command prompt, a PowerShell and the name is twerp-patent.img.img then you go ahead and use that. Once you've entered the command, go ahead and press enter and at this point your Motorola Moto X4 should boot into twerp recovery. Once your phone is booted into twerp recovery, you can go ahead and disconnect it from the computer. Once we are in twerp recovery, we will go ahead and click on backup. At this point, go ahead and uncheck everything and only check EFS and persist. So just to repeat myself, make sure that EFS and persist are checked. Everything else is unchecked. Once you have confirmed those things, go ahead and swipe to backup. Once the backup process is complete, go ahead and note down where it was backed up to. So it was to backup your phone serial number and the date. Once you've done that, go ahead and click on reboot system. Once you have booted back into Android, go ahead and connect your Motorola Moto X4 to the computer one more time. Once that is done, go ahead and swipe down from the navigation bar, click on this pop-up Android system charging this device, tap for more options, and then go ahead and click on file transfer. At this point, your Motorola Moto X4 will show up as internal storage on your computer. Back on the computer, you need to go ahead and go into the twerp folder, go into backups, go ahead and click on the serial number of your device, go into the date folder, and bam, there we have it, EFS and persist partitions backup for our Motorola Moto X4. Go ahead and copy these to your computer, and if you want to double backup, go ahead and 
zip them and put them on some cloud storage like Google Cloud or Mega. So that's it for this video YouTube. We have successfully backed up the EFS and process partitions on a Motorola Moto X4. I hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.